In this video, we're going to set up a database and start recording some of our jokes that we're going to use in the application. So I'm in the uh, admin program for our database PHP admin, and we're uh, looking at the main page. So you have to log in here, and if you haven't done this yet, go look at the last video. We're going to uh, go look at our databases. So I'm going to click the button here, and we'll see that we have a test table, or I'm sorry, we have a test database running. So inside here we're going to make this our database active so I'm gonna click on the word test now a database handles multiple tables in our case our program will only have one table and we're going to call it our jokes table so I'm gonna name it a capital jokes underscore table and it will have three columns in it so just think of a spreadsheet a spreadsheet has columns and rows and so we're going to have three columns We'll have the joke number, and then we're going to have the joke question and the joke answer. And so we're going to name those here. So the first thing that we're going to have in our database table is our joke ID number. And so the type is going to be an integer, so we'll leave that as int. And down here at the bottom, or the end here, there's something called AI, which stands for auto increment. That means if I check this, the computer will automatically assign the next available number for the next available joke. So there'll be joke number one, and joke two, and three, and so on. Now I'm going to add some more fields. I'm going to say this is the joke question. So this is how you set up the joke. And the type of data that we're going to put in here is text. So we can either put text or varchar. Either one will work. I'll use varchar. And the length is going to be 500 characters long. The next one down is called the joke answer. And the same thing, we're going to give it 500 characters and we're going to leave the rest of these items blank. So once you get into database administration, you can go and look at all the rest of this stuff and get more involved. But since this is our first table, we're going to uh, just leave it real simple. Push the save button and then we'll have a table in our database. So now over on the left side, you see we have the test database and we have the jokes table in it. So let's click on the jokes table and let's see what comes up. It says here that the table is empty. There's no data to be shown. So let's insert some jokes. I'm going to click on the insert button. So for our first joke, I'm going to ask the famous question, uh, what time is it when an elephant sits on your fence? And the joke answer is going to be, it's time to buy a new fence. Notice I'm leaving the joke ID value empty. The computer will automatically assign a number for that. Let's click on Go. And you can see what comes up next. It says one row has been inserted, and it shows here some code. This is the SQL language, the SQL language. And uh, if you get into database administration, this is what you'll talk. This will be your language of everyday use. But we can understand it, what's going on. It says here, insert into test. So that's the test database. And it refers to the jokes table. Then it says three field names, and then the values. Null, remember that's the joke ID number, we left that blank. And then we have the question, and then the answer. And so you can see the formatting has to be for the uh, text fields have to have quotations around them. And when we're done, we have uh, a, new, a new line in our database. Let's click the Browse button and see what's going on here. So you can see down here our table has one line, joke ID number one, and it has the joke question and answer. Let's go to insert again and add some more jokes and see what you can come up with. So invent some of your own jokes and type them in here. So you can see I've added a few jokes, such as not only the elephant, but the famous chicken joke and a few others. So enter your own jokes. And if you decide that when you're wanting to delete a joke, you can just go ahead and choose one of these delete icons. Notice the numbering here. It goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if I choose to delete joke number 3, I click on here, it's going to give me a question. It gives me some SQL statements. It says, do you really want to execute this command? It says, delete from test jokes table, where jokes table dot ID equals 3. So that's the computer's SQL statement that we're going to execute. And you can understand that it's going to delete the third ID number. And when it disappears, you should see a nothing there for three. And so three will never come back again. It's been deleted, and this joke ID is automatically numbered, and we'll never get a three. We'll just continue on with number 10 when we create the next new joke. And so there, we're going to leave it at that. 
create about 10 jokes and their answers to go with them and then we'll be able to create the front end soon to uh, do some programming on the web page.